Tuesday saw two game updates and some more information about one of the kids coming this week. Hello, my name is Jennifer and welcome to my Sims 4 news video. So the Sims Direct tweeted shortly after the game update or the first game update that they were rolling out the base game update and the patch notes would come soon once it was confirmed as live across platforms. But at that point in time, some players we're receiving a pop-up message, Sims delivery content not installed, and that you could ignore this issue. And then they went on to say today's patch will resolve this pop-up within the next hour. But what they did was a second update, and that is what I expect resolved the issue. However, if you didn't update like right away, if you go and update later, you would only get one update. But if you updated in the initial time period, then you would have had to re-updated your game again to get this fix. I updated late and got one update. So if you only got one update and you updated later on, that's why you wouldn't have two updates. I actually had issues where when I went into the EA app, it was showing me that my games weren't installed and that I had to download it. And even though it was saying that Sims 4 needed an update, it also wouldn't let me select it as being there. So it, in my case, I restarted my computer a few times, I cleared the EA app a few times, and then finally everything came up where it showed me that I had The Sims 2 and The Sims 3 and then The Sims 4. All it was saying was the update was required and I could select it for the update. I didn't update till later because after the Crystal Creations update, I was a little bit concerned that there could be issues, but so far everything seems to be pretty good with this update. I'm not seeing any reported issues, anything big, and even mods for the most part seem to be pretty good. I'll touch on that a little bit towards the end. A little while later, The Sims Direct actually tweeted with the update note. So this was about an hour after that first tweet. At this point, that second update had gone live and it said the game update was available across all platforms. It included adjustments to gallery filters, fixes for stinking plants, the land grab power company, and for rent. And some more, obviously. Essentially, the things that were in the laundry list. And of course, this linked to the update notes. But interestingly, I saw this tweet from Simguru Ninja, where he commented some good fixes in this update, which they were good fixes, but they were minor fixes, I'd have to say, but also many more coming. That was the part I found most interesting about this tweet, the many more coming. So I'm kind of wondering, when are those many more coming? And are those going to be some of the bigger issues that there are in the game? Or at least some of the bigger issues there are in the game? We also know that the roadmap essentially was going to April, but we're getting the last two things on the roadmap this week. So are they taking a bit of a break and are we going to get our roadmap at the beginning of May or are we going to get our roadmap earlier than that? And is this many more coming going to be a game update that precedes some other pack that's coming soon? I guess we'll find out soon enough, but right now it's all just kind of speculation and that makes me wonder about a bunch of different things, like I said. So as a reminder, here is the laundry list and everything on this laundry list did make it into the patch notes as being fixed. So let's actually move along to the update notes. So of course, this update was to prepare the game for the kits that are coming on Thursday. And you can see those four base game items about the plants and the not having stink clouds when they were living. Uh, the one about the land grab company there and the Sims and other lang if Simmers playing in other language, having the first and last name blank if they're um, for Sims that had selected pronouns and also the group cooking should now work. Now, the interesting thing there is I did see the three getting closed as being fixed, but that after enforcing regulations with the land grab power company, I don't actually see a, anything closed on EA Answer Headquarters with respect to a bug report for that. But as I had mentioned in my laundry list video, which links to the bug reports, that particular one linked to an archive bug report, which was essentially closed already. But that archive bug report then listed linked to two other bug reports, one of which has already been closed with a fix in a previous update, 
recent previous update. But the other one linked to the one that was actually an eco lifestyle issue where if you get a phone call, are you ready about, you know, prepared for squirrels? And if you said no, then you would essentially lose your power and you couldn't get it back. So I don't, I don't know because that isn't closed. This is saying it's base game. So I'm not really sure what was fixed with that, to be honest, but they highlighted it in their tweet. So supposedly something's fixed, but I don't really know what. Anyways, and there were some other things for the gallery server there where they have, um, you know, reviewing gallery profanity reports and, you know, continue to report them if you see any more. So they've reduced the strictness of how hashtags were handled when listed in specific orders. And I've seen some people having problems with uploading their things because the hashtags were in an order and then when they swapped it, it worked. Also, Maxi created Sims even from past Sim games should no longer be preventing from uploading if you choose to recreate recreate one or more. So that wasn't obviously in the laundry list, but there's something there. Now, here are some other things. Everything there except for Crystal Creations, which was there was a shawl sweater that if you, I think, had either either gender selected, but definitely female gender selected, you couldn't see it. It might have been both. I can't remember. That wasn't on the laundry list, but that's been fixed according to this. And it's also been closed, the bug report for it. So you had the issue with the dew collector. It should collect water and the water level will continue to rise. And also you shouldn't be getting any last exception errors. If you use Thunder 1143's mod to fix that, you should take that out. There's a fix with uh, social bunny timestamps being correct. Uh, horse ranch, horse riding should help Sims lose weight. And also you shouldn't get a want to level up your nectar making skill when it's maxed. For rent, there was uh, an issue where the maximum available rent value would lower after you evicted a tenant. That shouldn't be the case. And also, if you own a residential rental lot and a business, you should be able to transfer funds between them. And then Realm of Magic, if an alien abducts a spellcaster and they become pregnant, they should have an alien baby instead of a sim baby. Those were all in the laundry list. Then we went on here. The first thing for werewolves was on the laundry list. The second one wasn't, however, and I think it, it was partially fixed, but the bug report is still open because socks are still available and they shouldn't be. I That's in the bug report. So this grunge revival about texture issue with chip nails, that bug report is still open. And the other ones, I don't see the bug report, but they weren't on the laundry list. This one with the poolside splash. And there were three things for Castle Estate that, that were fixed. And I can't say I noticed anything one way or the other with respect to that, whether anything's opened or not. So if you are a mod user, I did sort of allude to it. For the most part, mods seem to have come off light like no issues with mods this broken outdated that was already broken before the update so it's nikki clam and it's considered broken and you should probably uh remove it and you can't download it anymore while they're working on it so now there's three here that are at the time i'm recording this considered obsolete that thunder 1143 with respect to the do collector error fix which i had mentioned before there's also uh, two other ones that you can see noted there. Anders PSO add-on show tissue box isn't supported anymore. And then lot 51 for rent object breakage exceptions fix, which I'm not really sure what that is, but it was fixed by the game update. I can't even say that I noticed that in the bug notes, but that's no longer needed according to this. However, this update was so minor it did disable from my understanding your mods but this is the same report that was used last time because it didn't have any big impact from what i saw turbo driver tweeted that his 18 plus wicked whims and wonderful whims and all his mods were fine and he didn't expect that mod should be impacted with this update i know deaderpool cleared mccc both the currently public version and the patreon which is a pre-release little miss sam cleared all of hers and just in general what i have seen has been cleared but i would recommend heading over to either this list by luth or Scarlet's List to check your mods, just to be sure. 
So I did mention about the uh, kits. The Sims tweeted that they were proud to work with Ebonix to create Sims 4 Urban Homage Kit. And they had a blog post about how the kit came to be and the creative process behind the scenes. Essentially, it was an interview with her. And I'm not going to go over it in detail. Some of the details in the blog post were actually in the original blog post about the kits, but it goes into more detail. So if you're interested, I will link to that and everything down below. Go check that out. If you want to know when the kits are going to be coming out, the usual release time is 10 a.m. Pacific. I'm in the Eastern time zone, so for me, that's a 1 p.m. And I will link so you can find out when that is in your own time zone down below if you're interested in getting either or both of the kits. So I'm going to end on this tweet from Simguru Ninja where he did comment about this update and some of the fixes being good, but also, as I had said before, more interestingly, saying many more are coming. What are you hoping is going to be coming in that many more? And when do you think we're going to get those? The fact that he's saying it makes me think they're in the work. So hopefully it's sooner rather than later. But that's going to be it for this video. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.